In this video I'll be showing you some sniper tips to improve your quick scope and your overall sniper gameplay so be sure you stay tuned. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. By the title and the thumbnail, you should see that today is the day that I will be doing the sniper tips video. And I want to give a huge thanks to my teammate Lags for giving me some of these tips. He is the sniper for our team. He is one of the best snipers that I know. He actually has a channel. I will be putting it in the description. Check him out. He does some awesome montages and stuff like that. So in this video, I'll be using the tips that Legs did give me and I also went ahead and did some research for myself as well as my experience with sniping and I'll be adding those to the video as well. So if you are not yet subscribed and you do want to see more types of videos like this, be sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the post notifications to get notified every time I post a brand new Call of Duty mobile video. We recently hit 2k subscribers and I just want to thank each and every one of you that have subscribed our next goal is 5k i'm sure that if we keep up the pace we should reach there in no time i'm gonna start off by helping the players that have not been playing cod mobile for a long time now so you might be wondering what sniper should you use like what is the best sniper you know that you have four snipers in the game you probably have three which are the locust the arctic 50 and the dlq but there is also another sniper that was released in the battle pass people don't really use that one so if you are new to the game i suggest you, you start off by using the dlq it is the best sniper to use and you should also use the standard scope do not go ahead and use a tactical scope that is the first mistake you make when you are sniping because the tactical scope basically like this basically gives away the advantage of using a sniper which is the range now when you are sniping you do have an a advantage when you, you do use scope and shoot instead of doing your quick snipes with ADS and what I mean by using scope plus shoot is instead of you go ahead and press that ADS button to go ahead and fire at the enemies you do want to press the scope in button then you shoot and you don't have to wait until you're completely scoped in so that is the power of it so you just want to make sure that your cross here is very close to the enemy that you are firing against and then it should be a pretty easy shot now the reason why i say that you should use scope plus shoot instead of the normal ads is because cod actually buffed scope plus shoot at the beginning of season six so pre-season six everyone was doing their quick scopes with the ads button however the pros and a lot of the top tier players are now using the scope plus shoot because this is a lot faster and as you know it is the reaction time that wins in cod so if you are using scope plus shoot and the enemy is using the standard ads to quick scope then you will definitely win that gunfight because it is a lot faster even though it is harder than the normal ADS, if you do practice this for about a couple of days, maybe two to three days, and you get comfortable with it, then you should be unstoppable. The next tip that I have for you when you're sniping is about your movement. Now, when I started to play COD Mobile back in season one when it just released, when I saw people sniping, I found it kind of weird. It is different from most games where the sniper is the one who sits at the back. In COD, you have snipers running up and they're in close range gunfights, they're in long range, they're in mid range gunfights. Snipers do everything in the game. So when you are actually sniping, you don't want to like stand one place, especially if the other team has snipers because you will be a lot easier target to shoot so as soon as you shoot with the sniper especially if you miss you want to slide jump around drop shot you want to do whatever you can to go ahead and throw off your enemy's aim now if you ever watch like pro scrims or tournaments you will never see the sniper for the team just sitting back camping at spawn he will always be running up with the team he kind of plays a bit that is basically what you want to do so in order to be a very good sniper you have to perfect your movement so go in a couple like ai games or some 
like public matches and you want to slide around and jump around make sure you have a comfortable hood where you can easily access your jump button or your crouch button the next tip i have for you is never to peek the same spot twice and if you want to be a good sniper in the game you have to be unpredictable so you don't want to be like peeking around the corners the same exact corners especially if the other team does have a sniper then that guy will take you out easily and especially for if you're playing against me i will kill a sniper very fast if i see that he is pushing out in the same direction but you can go ahead and peek different spots just to go ahead and throw off the other team and that is very important guys all right so being a sniper is kind of different from being a ar or a smg player in a way that you cannot always fire you have to know when to fire so for example when i am playing 1v1 snipes whenever i'm like close to the enemy i don't always go ahead and shoot him because if you know you'll miss then it might it makes no sense you go ahead and shoot because you know that the sniper takes a while for you to take your next shot so you want to make sure that you are absolutely close enough to them to shoot i mean sometimes there are gunfights that you will not win people say that smgs have advantages over snipers at close range i think that it's a 50 50 chance because again i do use sniper now and again in 1v1s and the sniper is very good for uh close range because when you zoom in you actually have more space on a person to shoot than they actually have on you if they're using a smg or a sniper if you do understand what i am saying the next tip i have on the list is always have a pistol as your secondary weapon and not a knife or a rocket now i understand why some people would have a rocket as their secondary weapon so they can deal with score streaks like uav counter uav or anything that like that but i don't really understand why you would have a knife as your secondary weapon anyways the reason why i'm telling you to use a pistol for your secondary weapon is sometimes you will get hit markers when you are sniping and you can just pull out your pistol and finish it off in one or two shots depending on the pistol that you do have so i do recommend the j358 with that pistol you can just one shot at if you get a hit marker and then you basically finish off the job and to add to this especially if you are playing snd if you kill someone you can go ahead and take up their smg or their ar so whenever you are in a close range fight or again when you get hit markers you can just go ahead and pull out that and finish off the job we are almost finished guys so the next thing that i do want to say is if you are new to this whole sniping thing you can go slow do not go ahead and jump into a 1v5 situation because it's very unlikely that you will win that so you can just go ahead and shoot them one by one and take them out like a bit you will eventually get the hang of it until you can go ahead and take out a entire squad the last and the most important tip that i do have for you is make sure that your sensitivity and your loadout are good for sniping so currently i haven't i did mess up my sniper sensitivity which is why i haven't been sniping as much however if you're sensitivity sniping sensitivity is not good right now i suggest that you put it to mid and then you adjust it how you like when you go into the games and for the loadout i will be showing you a sniper loadout that you can use right now okay, so this is my go-to sniper loadout and for the sniper we're going to be using the deal q33 as i said that is the best sniper in the game the first attachment we're we going to be using is the FMJ so we can wall bang a lot easier. The second attachment we will be using is the stock so we have a bit of movement when we are scoped in and then we finally use the extended mag so we don't have to be reloading a lot. For the secondary weapon we're going to be using the J358. As I said you should be using a pistol. You can, you can also use the MW11 but I do think that the J358 is a lot better. For the operator skill, we are using the annihilator. You don't need to use the annihilator, guys. 
you can use these school e operator skills that you are most comfortable with because i know that a lot of people don't really understand the annihilator is a bit hard to aim for the lethal we're going to be using the frag and for the tactical we're going to be using the trophy system so we don't get spammed with nades now for the first perk we're going to be using agile and as i said the ads button with, with sniping is basically useless now but i mean you can still do it if you are if you get surprised by enemies so agile is still pretty useful when you are sniping you can go ahead and change it out to persistent if you are never going to be using the ads for the second perk we're going to be using ghost because we won't be able to deal with uavs and we don't want to get surprised and the last perk we always use is whole blooded all right that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching to the end if you did thank you so much for all the support that you have been giving me over the past and i do want to say we are supposed to start live streaming very soon as soon as my internet is fixed so that is something to look forward to